Uh, Mama, uh, Chief, this uh, Mrs. Felicia Sani won't talk. May, after her, we go open telephone line. Because of the sensitive nature of today's program, we go take permission from our regulators as well as the management of human rights radio and television. Make we extend our time small. So, Mama, over to you. Now you get floor now. Uh, my ordinary, my beloved son, my president in the making, my people who will put sand on me on my head. Uh, ordinary, you forget to say something. In that pen con, no poor man's child is there. Uh, Mama, make we leave them. I go leave them. Mama, please, please, man. Okay. Please, man. Okay. Mm. You know, um, you remember the DG Pencom talk say he's just a, a male radio presenter. What is he doing here? What uh, is he uh, doing here? Oh, a he male radio no presenter talk. and a comedian is the president of uh, Ukraine. For you to know the kind of mindset such people have, I am just a radio presenter. I should not be there at the National Assembly. That woman was a she. Mama, maybe okay. we leave that one. Okay. Hey. I'm going to make uh, my yes. mouth. Yes, ma'am. Big name given to dog, lion. Mm. Can a dog behave like a lion? I know him. Julius Caesar in Margaret said, it's an eyes of childhood that she has painted devil. Mm. Look, let me tell you, I went to school very, very, very well. And it is my father who trained me. Yes. I know him. He doesn't know I know him. If he's bad, I will stand before him and say he's bad. He won't do. If I said, yeah, I see him. He won't put me down. Yes, I see him. I see him. So, uh, I'm telling Nigerians. No, I'm, Mama, we are not campaigning for him. He is here. No, excuse me. Uh, no, we what, are not what here I to want campaign to say. for anybody. Uh, make no, I draw what the I want to say. Mama, wait. We now. should not be collecting this 1,000. We collected the other time. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Nobody should collect money. Now, I want to make and make clear. No candidate is here for campaign. Yes. For, for us to campaign for he or she. It is a platform. Uh, Your Excellency, sir. How much I charge you for this appearance? Talk to the mic. So, I don't even, I, I don't see you for the first time. I don't even, I never even. You and say. anybody arrange, say you go pay money after the no, appearance? No, no. Make I tell you, say, why are we at this place? Mm -hmm. Now, the driver will carry me for moto. Say, you get one radio away. They, they say, they, I say, because what they even put, I say, you know, say, trouble, they plenty for you. So, when they put, Ready yourself for mother, say make a back. Headache day too much. Make you off this. But every day my driver they listen for this thing. Oh, oh, oh. He say, God bless that driver. What is him be your driver name, sir? He said uh, Beatrice. He yeah. said that they, 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 the one day they call your name. Oh. I get home. They have help waiting for 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 him. Say, say, they call your name. I say. So you they listen for radio yourself. He say, yes, sir. <laughs> so, so now them they tell me. Me, I never listen. This is the first time. Why are they listening? The first time, why are they soon? Thank you. Now, why are they talk this one now? Because all the people we don't come, we don't collect from money from anybody. And you too will not go collect. And we are not saying vote Peter Obi. No. We are not saying vote Zulum. We are not saying vote Osibanjo. We are not saying vote Kwankwaso. We are not saying vote Emmanuel Udom. We are not saying vote uh, somebody mentioned Yaya Bello. Uh, my own is they have been given the platform to say what they have what they have done what the their diagnosis of Nigeria's situation and problems are and what they plan to do are we together yes. why I quickly talk this one I don't know what thing they mama belle and now live program be this once she don't drop them she don't drop them now I make I uh, apply this caution quickly. And any other person where they here, we are not campaigning for anybody. This is a platform for you to say what you what you have done, what you are doing, and what you can, what you are planning to do for Nigeria. Mama, quickly. Uh, I'm telling them Nigerians that market men and women are not ordinary women. Mm. 
I did banking and finance. I came out second class upper. I was a branch manager of African Continental Bank. For 28 years, I worked in the bank for 35 years. Nobody, if I see anybody come to that market with 1,000, he want to have given instruction in that market. Any all the market, he want to give us 1,000. For four years, we chop 1,000 like before. Hey, 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 he go give us money. We are going to swallow that person. Thank you, thank you. Let's appreciate my man. My brothers, my sisters, if I looked at an assistant time, don't they give us a signal? People wait there for studio one one minute. And uh, if you there for outside Nigeria, the number to call now plus two three four mm -hmm. eight one mm -hmm. eight 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 nine one zero one one. Mm -hmm. If you there for outside Nigeria now plus two three four mm -hmm. eight one mm -hmm. eight eight mm -hmm. eight nine mm -hmm. one zero mm -hmm. one one. Mm -hmm. If you there for inside Nigeria now zero nine zero mm -hmm. nine nine mm -hmm. eight eight. Mm -hmm. Seven seven mm -hmm. zero zero. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, people waiting for studio. Okay, Barista Ogo. Okay. Good morning, ordinary president. Good morning, Good morning Breaker the family. Good morning, Your Excellency. Mm -hmm. We are happy to have you this morning. I just have two questions for you. Mm -hmm. Because that's our sister where we say they're blind. I believe it's a fake drug where then they smuggle into Nigeria and I ain't cause that uh, thing where happened to them. Mm. Uh, so they come blind. If you become the president temporarily. of Nigeria, mm. uh, temporarily, if you become the president of Nigeria, what thing you go do about, to, about all those fake drugs in, without not the that only number? fake drugs. In fact, fake human beings there for Nigeria now. <laughs> Almost everything is fake. Yes, sir. Well, mm. then they smuggling. What do you go do to stop them? And they're coming to the pension and gratuity where we they talk. If, if you become the president, like some stubborn state governors, when no they agree pay, how you go take do them? You go say no only federal, you go they pay. I'll be how you go take do them, make you force them, make them they pay. Because I know almost all these 36 states in Nigeria, they are owing gratuity and pension. How you go take force them, make them they pay gratuity and pension. Thank sir. you. Let me start with your second, make us start with your second question. It is be, because we there for country where we, the, the, where did they rule, not they serious. Mm. Now we say somebody go, oh, salary. One month, two months, three months, still there for office. You're not going to do that for anywhere in the world. Democracy, you go. Hmm. If you cannot pay salary, you cannot do a gratuity, you go home. It's simple because you they take your own. You they still live like governor. You they still live. So if you cannot pay, you go. Mm. So we need to change. That's why when ordinary president say not be party again. Now day a day. Anybody after 2023 for local government chairman to president, if you're not going to fit the job, please go home. Don't come. Leader to solve problem. Mm. You can't be own people and you they go about with your own family. Mm. It's not. You can solve it. Thanks. And I'm saying that Nigeria can pay pension and gratuity for this fake drug way they say. Not the only fake drug there. Like when I present, everything is fake. Talk to the mic, sir. <laughs> everything is fake. <laughs> Including us, politicians, we are fake. Mm. So we need to start curing the fake by replacing them by human beings With who are caring. Mm. Nothing makes anybody here different. In fact, me, self, I go apply to join this family because this thing can cure hypertension <laughs> if I come here every morning. <laughs> it, people think say, they are going to India, going to this, and they cure all these things. Like, like this, living a life where you live with ordinary people. We are visiting other ordinary people. So we have to start doing the right things. Look at somebody telling you he's ordinary radio presenter. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a joke. A if you do it anywhere, 
in where they have democracy anywhere, and you won't be in the that office the next day. But because we've now developed where the elites have become removed from the system, mm. we need to bring them down. Mm. And let the system you know, take even over. Even remove all this title mm. and call them their name. What is His Excellency? Who is excellent here? <laughs> in a collapsed place, all this title have to go. Do you know what excellency means? An excellent person we can emulate. Because when you go to school, you get good. Very good. Excellent. Is any of us excellent? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank it's you. time to remove all these things. Thank you. All this honorable, distinguished, and everything. It's time to remove them. Some distinguished, not extinguished. So when things start working, then we'll bring the titles back. Okay, sir, please, are you going to impeach them or you are going to amend the constitution? The people can remove them. Let okay, me tell sir. you, in Philippines, in Philippines, people did not go, did not impeach Marcos. People went and blocked Marcos and his wife. They went and blocked that place. Peacefully. If you do it for Nigeria, Nigerian police go keep people. No, no. They too will soon find out that they need to be with the masses because mm. it's affecting them. Mm. Oh! I, I, told, I told the policeman, I told the policeman three weeks ago, I said, let me tell you what the problem here. I lived in England for 10 years. Police know they stop bus, train, carrying poor people. Here, they stop bus. Mm. Leave man with the Rolls Royce. Uh, I said, this is the trouble of the country. These people you, you are allowing to pass. <laughs> not these people in bus. Not, uh, yeah. So soon they will know that those things they are encouraging. The where they bite us, they bite them too. They are fighting them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, um... um Wakili Marafanu nu eh wara eh wakili wakili Marafanu pe eh shehu Umar Bida the person where they vie for the governorship seat for Niger state good morning sir good morning my ordinary president mm. good morning your excellency his excellency uh, Peter Obi good morning my fellow Bekiti family members good morning sir yes uh, in fact uh, His Excellency has made uh, some key challenging issues points, and uh, I want to add more uh, to His Excellency's uh, position in terms of uh, security. You know, we need an upgrade. If we have people building estates or government building housing estates in various states of the Federation, I want to suggest that this housing estate should be Built or constructed in the grassroots areas, who are challenge, facing challenges of flood, you relocate them or you settle them, but not building those houses in the center mm. where only people in government will have access and buy them up mm. for them and their family members. Thank you very much. But if we are contesting or vying for a political office, we start from the grassroots. We use our money to use them, but eventually, at the end of it, we abandon them and we dump them. Then when we, we see our children flying everywhere on social media with luxury, then they will be thinking of their own self. They don't have schools, they don't have houses, they don't have uh, medical facilities. Thank you very and much. I want government to look into this sincerely and with all honesty. When you beca when I want to beg you, my honor president, I want to beg you and beg you. Let's look at the issue of adultery. Adultery means equality before anything. Fairness. We have fairness, thank you very much. We call Nigeria Wazobia. From, from, since the last uh, president we had from the South, which is, uh, I'm sorry, Namibia. We, we are not talking about zoning here, please. Uh, make we no, know. No, I'm uh, uh, please. I'm not talking about zoning, uh, but I'm talking about adultery. Yeah. And we all know what adultery is, my president. I want you to elaborate or give us great awareness on adultery. In the Nigerian atmosphere. Uh, thank you. Thank you very thank much. You thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, I go de, when I go see, say, I go de, uh, caution some things. I don't want to make anybody uh, pollute within the foreground. Our own, we get focus. 
and uh, now nah, that focus now nah, with the face. Thank you very much. My brothers, my sisters, if I looked at on a sister time, don't they give us signal, signal to do it, signal make we uh, take calls. But uh, Alaja Amino, you, know, you have uh, one minute. Please. Yeah, my ordinary, thank you, sir. I also thank the ex my your excellency. I want people to know that when we come in here, we learn a lot of things. Mm. Uh, mothers, if you listen to our excellency, what he said was about education. He was born a trader. I'm not here to ask him questions, but I want people to realize what he has said and make use of it. He was born a trader. Even though he was born a trader, he went to primary school, he went to secondary school, he even went to university. One of the best. And that is in Nigeria. Then he went to Oxford. Education is channeled to sources in life. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hello, good morning. <laughs> And Hello, good morning, my ordinary president. Uh, yes, Nahumi and I'm Devano. Where are you Devano from? Good morning, the Brussels family. I'm going to make you off that uh, TV where you take, take watch the program wherever you did so that uh, the thing go this smooth. Where, where, thing be on there, where are you Devano from? Okay, good morning. My name is Izuchuku and I'm calling from the United Kingdom. From Una Izuchuku from United Kingdom? Yes, sir. Quite quickly. Okay, I want to ask Mr. Pito, be His Excellency, a brief question. Mm -hmm. What is he going to do, particularly about the issue of electricity in Nigeria? That's just the question I want to what ask. What are you going to do, what about, going to do uh, about the it? issue of electricity in Nigeria? Thank you very much, uh, Izuchuku. Yes. Th thank you, Mr. Izuchuku. There is nothing about electricity that is rocket science. The reason why it's not working here is what I've said and what I continue to say now in the problem of Nigeria. Mm. Leadership. Egypt. Mm. Take him here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Egypt. Mm. Between 2015 mm -hmm. and 2020 doubled its electricity production from about 26 27,000 megawatts to now 55. Hmm. And the thing where it costs them is less than 10% of the amount we don't borrow between that time and now. It's less than 10%? Yes, about less than about 10%. Or what we don't borrow, say we borrow money for capital vote. And nothing there more important than electricity. I've studied that one country is comparing them with Nigeria. When it comes to? Have Vietnam, between 2015 and 2016, have doubled the electricity production from 38,000 megawatts to 75,000 megawatts. And what is their population like? Their population of Vietnam, Vietnam is about 104, called about 100 million. Egypt is about 100 million. What are we producing now in we Nigeria? Are we have 4,000 for 200 million people. 4,000. We are supposed to be, we are supposed to be a country, the biggest economy in Africa. And our production of electricity and distribution is mainly just about, call it even under 10,000. The second biggest economy is South Africa. They are producing and distributing about 50 something thousand. And they have only 60,000, 60 million. We are 200. The third biggest economy is Egypt. They have 100 million, half of our hours. And they are producing 55. You don't do. You don't do. You don't do. Uh, Hello, good morning. I can tell you the top economy, Morocco. You don't do. Said, no. Hello, good morning. Hmm? Good morning, my ordinary president. Wait in your name. Where are you, Devano, from? My name is. I they call from Italy. Okay. Uh, how it, uh, uh, go, go I want, my Excellency, I greet you. I want to talk about pension. Here in Italy, any old man will die, or the wife where they work is that of uh, civil uh, service. They go to pay the wife the, the pension of the old man money. If the woman remarry, they go cut her off. If the woman die, if she not marry, they go continue to pay her the old man pension. I want to ask the excellency, if he becomes president, whether he will continue with that kind of 
See, for all those poor widows. Thank you. So they are, they are Thank you. Ne never me. answer this one. Make we join two, three, three questions. You make we answer at the same time. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I can hear you. Waiting be your name. Where are you devan off from? Waiting be your contributor. Okay, my name. My name na. My name na Godwin. Dr. Godwin Adebane from Saudi Arabia. From Saudi Arabia. From, Godwin from Saudi work Arabia. Work for, I, work, I, I be doctor where they work for Saudi Arabia. Okay, you be medical doctor where they work for Saudi Arabia, Godwin. Yes, yes, so yes, so yes. Mm -hmm. So my, my question I want to ask um, mm -hmm. His Excellency to say, what in your hand go use help us where don't come out for Nigeria? Well, no plan to come out. For, for us to come back. Okay, then we'll come out for Nigeria. We have no plan to come out. You know, we, we will be Nigerian doctors. We'll come out for Nigeria. Go to work for Saudi Arabia. Even for this Saudi Arabia, we'll see, we see as a country, they treat their citizens. They think they treat us as they treat their citizens. So they will say, the Nigeria, what will they? In the, in don't and get your question. Write them down. Hello. Uh, good morning. Hello. Yeah, what in be your name? Good morning. How are you? Repete. Hello. Your name, sir. My name is Mr. Mr. Mohammed Akale, coming from Bahrain. Bahrain, very close to Saudi P Arabia. Peter ba from Bahrain, close to Saudi Arabia. Bahrain. Mm. Yes. Yes, quickly. Are they here? You waiting be your contributor? Pardon? Hello? Make you up that TV so that we, our communication go there clear. I bet any other person okay, as soon okay, as okay, so okay. I, I, I have, I have, I have. Oh yeah, quickly yeah. now. What is your contributor? Yes. I'm Good. calling from Bahrain, and uh, first of all, Eid Mubarak to everybody. Good morning, sir. Good morning, and Eid Mubarak. Mm. I'm working in Bahrain. I also before previously worked in Saudi Arabia with Saudi Petroleum, Aramco. You know, it's a shame that Nigeria, we have the same oil and we are where we are today. We have leaders, you know, I'm not talking about to be, we have leaders who cannot think for the people. Why? Why? Do not all of them, a few of them. Make your point quickly so I can pick another My call. My point sir. is that can we still, can, do we still have hope? That's the yeah. first question. Can we, we still, still have, have hope? hope? That is the question. We Thank still you. have hope. Because I've not seen any credible leader so far. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. You are not the president. Wait in your name. Where are you know from? My name is Muhammad. I'm calling from Senegal. From? Actually, yes. My question to me is My name is Muhammad from Senegal. Okay. My question to uh, to uh, uh, Excellence Peter will be to become a president of Nigeria. What did he have for the people living with disability? That's my question. What do you have, have for people living for with people disability? Living with disability. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Question. Thank you, Abi. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, honorary president. Nahumi and I'm Devan. Good morning, Mr. contributor. Hmm. Uh, this is uh, S. Poverty calling from uh, Canada. I have a question. Y your name SLC. first. Make I uh, get your name clearly. Oh, my name is S. Poverty from Canada. Oh, X Poverty. X Poverty uh, from Canada. Yes, from okay. Canada. Yes. X Poverty. Mm. I have a, I, I have a question for mm. uh, Dr. B. Mm. or Honorable B. Uh, a gentleman just called not quite last long ago from London and said, what are you going to do about electricity? He went off uh, saying uh, other countries have to increase their own uh, capacity of electricity, even though he has not said, how are you going to increase okay. Nigerian electricity capacity? But put that aside, I want to ask him, how is he going to pay the enormous debt that this current government have accumulated because they borrow so much money from different countries. 
Thank you. How is he going to pay those thank debts? You, thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, good morning. What? Thank you very much. Hello, good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning. I go, I go end this call now. The person never ready to talk. I don't end that. Hello, good morning. Good morning, uh, yeah. Yes, now, who me and I'm the Oh, Your Excellency, distinguished Ambassador Potter Potter, the Brekete family ambassador in the whole of France. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ordinary president. Yes, May you... God Almighty continue to bless you. Amen, and you too, sir. Ordinary, you know, say money don't produce vision. Vision produce money. Mm. And let vision be more about people, not money. Mm. You see, you have been hammering it. If they talk up, it be like saying not true. It be like saying not be true. They say if you have never put bill to write up during evangelism, my brother, your missionary journey is not recorded. Mm. Mm. This one now, uh, every bad for everybody to be aware. Mm. Vote your conscience. Vote your conscience. Make you no know, come be like say if say we know for no vote. If say we know for no vote. This time around, we go vote out and we go vote bad people out and bring good people by the grace of God. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. You got question for Mr. Peter Obi? But when he don't take the IC, that's our sister. Don't be the person go tell. I bet you know they take the exam for yourself first. I think they there see that if it happens to be. One of the priorities now, healthcare. Health. Healthcare, yes, in Tucker. Okay, thank you very much. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. May God bless you, my brother. Amen. Thank you. Hello, good morning. We go, we go, yes. come back to you. Yes, now, who me and I'm Devano? Where are you Devano from? Devano with Sonny, sir. Okay, Sonny, quickly, wait in your contributor. Eh? Yeah, uh, the people that are saying comedian. Uh, no, honorary. presenter, radio presenter. Now the DG uh, Pencom. But leave that one. I make we face better thing. Uh, DG in a political appointment where they feel remove any time. Uh, His Excellency is a, is a traitor mm. from the beginning. We have a, a driver, we be governor. Mm. So if you become anything, you will do greater than them. Mm. Uh, my question is that. All the text eyes that food mm, of the text eyes, United text eyes, KT, uh, super text, and co. What is he going to do about them? reviving the text eyes? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Make we appreciate her. Yes, Your Excellency. Now, make we take two calls from Nigeria. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning, sir. Wait in your name. Where are you the not from? Okay. My name is Faith. Mm. I the Vano from Abuja. Okay, I did hear you. Wait in your contributor. Okay, uh, sir, so my contribution be say waiting the governor go waiting if they are let him as president. Waiting he go do for the country, most especially for students of the tertiary university and those graduates who don't already graduate we no see job they do mm. okay thank you mm. very much we don't hear yeah, you welcome. thank you say so, what you go do for graduates we we no get work there is just one last call now hello good morning hello, hello good morning hello yes now hello, good and morning. yes ma'am Good morning, ordinary president. Morning, no morning. This is uh, Aske from Bangladesh. Okay, Aske, dog, I did hear you. Uh, for all the governor has said he do, yes, is that one we are okay with it and is achievable. But what will he do to take away the poverty? What would you do to take away poverty? Carry traveling back, yes. put poverty inside. Carry uh, the, the, Thank you very much. Let's appreciate ourselves. Yes, Kelechi, quickly. 
Yes, modern president. Mm. Uh, get question for His Excellency mm. to be now concerning exports. Mm. Now, as we all know, most of the things where we they export, mm -hmm. we they export them in their basic form. Mm. Meaning, say just like we export crude, bring in the other derivatives. Mm. We they export hibiscus flower. We go export them to say Mexico. Mexico go sell and go Netherlands. Netherlands go make four times waiting with they make with the export of this customer. Send and come back. I can continue with hairs and skin leather. I can continue with cocoa. I can name so many commodities. Now, then get one underlining factor. We they export them in their very basic form without adding much value to it. Now, my question be say, uh, what do you go do as president to ensure, say, we go add value to the products where we want to export to in order to maximize yes. the value chain exactly mm. now my question be that thank sir. you very much make we appreciate kelechi the import and export master ordinary mm. make i ask just one question um it borders on economy your excellency although you wouldn't want to be addressed as your excellency um you know how naira is tumbling now the the value of five hundred and something depreciating every day five hundred and something naira to yes, one uh, yes, to, yes. to so, one dollar so, so what will you do to stabilize the economy and the naira so that people who um get people who are paid money who are earning their income should be able to get value for it thank you P people like uh, people who they collect pension so that their money go they Thank you very much. Ogaran, you want to talk? Uh, just one minute, sir. Last, one, one minute, la, sir. Last, uh, uh, my question, Your Excellency, sir. Today, you are connecting with the masses, the poor. This is the largest family in the face of the earth where you can connect with the poor, the masses. Uh, many people, when they have this opportunity and they become president, they don't find that opportunity again to, to connect, connect with people. With God bless people. you. So, God bless uh, you. How are you going yes. to assure the masses that are assuming the opportunity is given to you? You will still be able to come down from the rock. The you high, will make yourself available, uh, available and reachable. And connect mm. to the masses. Thank because you. Madame Gofi tell you as a bit. True. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Finally, we have come to the end of this session. Okay. Okay. A youth wants to talk. Uh, let's hear from her. Good morning, my okay, ordinary you know president. Yes. Good morning, Your Excellency in making. Um, Hadizat Ibrahim, a student per se. Sir, please, I want to urge. Mm. I'm standing in for people like I, mm. who don't have opportunity to study abroad. Mm. So many are at home. Months back, if you check, ASU is still on strike. And Polytechnic is, is threatening, uh, threatening to join them. Yes, sir. Mm. Please, sir, when you assume office as the president of Nigeria, please do we, the youth, a favor to use those internal mechanisms you used in Anambra State mm. to apply it here as all a president over all mm. over Nigeria so that people who are saying education is a scam, we have a rethink and also come back to the educational sector mm. and make themselves better Thank and useful you. to the community. I'm Thank so proud of this, my daughter. Thank you. Over to you now, sir. Honorable President, mm -hmm. this question plenty to, to answer them. I hope they will give me You time. have You have seven minutes to answer all of them. Jesus Christ. So. <laughs> <laughs> it won't work. Oh. Okay, so go ahead, sir. Honorable President, mm -hmm. let me start with my daughter. Mm -hmm. It is very, very, very sad. I go speak this one, not before. Mm -hmm. Listen. Mm -hmm. Now, intolerable that our school is closed and we are campaigning. And we're even talking about the election. It wouldn't happen in any other country except Nigeria. Because of what Nigeria is. Education is the most important investment a nation can do for a citizen. Now will they take place. Mm. And the thing where they cause this trouble, we say we have an uncaring government. 
Mm -mm. Rephrase that one, I beg. Rephrase. Like I tell you why. Uh, uh, rephrase them. The agreement. Now me, you won't put for trouble. Rephrase them. No, 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 okay. Uh, <laughs> Make, not be saying this government, too. Uh, now government all over. Okay, okay. Make I tell you why. Uh, 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 this agreement, they agree for, you know the thing where they cause this trouble? Uh, uh, eh? uh, uh. They agree for 2009. Mm. Say, they go give universities One trillion to renovate the university 2009. Mm. Then they go pay lecturers allowance. The Why I say they promised them. Where I say government the agreement I was mm. part of the agreement. I never government that time. Okay. Yes. I read it. If you read my CV, I had that, that agreement. Honorary president. Mm -hmm. Where we since we don't agree. He said government no get money to pay him in full. Mm. If we don't beg them, say me could they pay in small small. Mm. He said that they pay them, say, 100, 100 million per year. He don't finish. Mm. He decided they pay them 50, 50. They don't pay half. Mm. We don't go rich here. Mm. But the thing where they happen here, the government go agree one thing. They just go home. Throw away the paper. Empty promises. So, everybody is fighting. Hmm. Last week, in Kwame Nkrumah University in Ghana, is now the best university in Africa. And among the best 50 in the world. Eh? Kwame Nkrumah University in Ghana, in Ghana is, is, the is the best university the best university of science and technology in Africa. Hey, and among the best 50 in the world. If you reach there, there are people food there. Nigerians, uh, yeah. Ghana. Ghana. Then our children go come back, they speak. Then, then ah, here. Ah, how is wake? How is wake? How is wake? Then, mm. Here, we don't find it. We are buying from 40. Hundred million, million. million. Mm. but we know if you collect all the money, where will they take by this from? You go pay that in where university they take hmm. and they go go back. So the money where candidates if they collect all of it, they go give them, they go back and begin school now. See, oh, Kai, mm. but the cost now. Transaction, a market with the go mm. to everybody buy. We will not, it will, it will not happen. Education will not be, I don't know how to describe it. Let me just tell you, it is a parity, parity, parity. The number one job of government is education. Two is education, three is education. If you cannot afford tertiary education, it's not free anywhere in the world. Mm. It might be for some countries that are rich. I will make it free. You won't make it free? No. Hmm. Primary and secondary will be free. But we must find a way to fund tertiary education where people will start coming back here to go to school. When I was in Soka, we had people who came from abroad. And it's the degree I had in Soka that I was able to use to get admissions in schools abroad. Today, they won't use the same thing. Mm. So we must reverse it. Our teaching hospitals in our universities used to be referral hospitals for countries all over the world. Now Nigerians, they go to India. We don't mm. even go. We don't even go. London or this in Germany again, would they go Egypt? Because Egypt schools now are doing very well. Ghana schools are doing very well. So education, we must give priority. It's sad that our children are home for the past three months. Very, very sad. Somebody said, how do you connect to connect to ordinary people when you become president? Go ask an umbrella people how they connect them. I was, it's a, it's a must that every three months 
We have a town hall meeting. In Anambra State? Yes, you are asked. With the students, with everybody. In fact, under the president, one of the things that made me never to make a promise into a student and fail to do it was a town hall meeting. Because I went to a town hall meeting, I went to visit a school in October, and I told them that there's a, there's a, 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 a classroom that was not properly roofed, and it will be roofed by then they come back. The teacher had given me the cost of it, and I promised to give them the money, something that is under 10 million naira, for them to finish the work. And in January, I went to a place called the Hala, local government, to talk. When I finish, I say question time. And that is why it is important to connect to the people. Mm. A, a year one student. JS student, young girl stood up innocently, mm -mm. took the microphone and said to me, Governor, why do you make promise you don't keep? Hey! His principal, his principal, all the teachers, ran from the back <laughs> to stop her. To come and stop her and attack her. They said, no, you can't ask this. Time. So, because of it, because of what, the way everybody shouted, she started shaking. Mm -mm. Until I hugged her and said, tell me. The promise I didn't keep. He told me that story. That I came to their school and promised this and I have not done it. And I turned to the Commission of Education. We will not live here unless we give this girl this check. So we went to a local bank yeah. in Ihala, got the equivalent of that check. I said, when we go back, we'll do the paperwork. Mm. But here, yeah, this girl, we went to a local bank, got that check, gave to that young girl and apologized. You know what happened? The same prison teacher came and carried her in her head. <laughs> <laughs> Nigeria. <laughs> hey. But when I asked them, the teachers have told me everything is okay. So because of it, you know what I do? Every school I visit, we are them. As the principal and the only teachers to go away. I want to hear from the kids. Now that and is they will tell you the truth. Exactly what is happening to <laughs> President Muhammad Buhari. People were there around and they tell and say, Your Excellency, all is good, all is well. I said they told me that they said the teachers. Could. So everywhere I go, I say, teachers, everybody. Go. Excuse us. The students will tell you. How useless the place is. <laughs> everything. Yes, sir. So we need to. When last did our presidents, governors, everything, visited the universities, the secondary school, and sat down and talked with the students, mm. like you see everywhere in the world, that is the challenge. That is the problem. And for the students, too, it's time to sit up. Mm. Somebody said to stabilize the economy. The only way to stabilize an economy is to move an economy into production. Nigeria, with 100, 200 million people, is producing less than 20% of its capacity. And the reason is simple. You have not invested in the engine of growth. The engine of growth of a nation is micro, small, medium businesses. Where these young people are. Mm. Nigeria have a lot of talented young people mm. who have no access to capital, no access to training, but they have not supported to government. Business ideas. Fantastic first class people. I've been to schools all over the world. Nigerians people are more brighter. Because I competed with them and I know they can't even go to school in the condition we go to school here. Yeah. And pass. Uh, they won't pass. <laughs> ah. Ordinary president, I tell you, uh. one of the schools, you know where you go to school, and they choose the type of meat I want to eat, the type of fish. They uh. feel like one of the schools where I go, if I tell you now, ordinary day, I go tell you the story. Uh. Where I go, say, if I not even fit it, waiting the result, because I think say I go pay extra money until somebody come tell me, say, 
the money where you don't pay, don't cover this. I said, Chineke, <laughs> I go finish your food. <laughs> <laughs> so, production, production, production. Mm. That brings you to what, uh, just to give you an example of what somebody said about Texas. Somebody asked a question about Texas. Texas alone, if we're committed alone into Texas garments and everything, they can't change Nigeria. I was in Bangladesh for one week. And I went to the villages mm. in Bangladesh. Today, Bangladesh exports to the world garments of $36 billion. To where is what to do in oil? Hmm. And if you go there, out of about 10 million people that are employed in that business, 6 million are women. Hmm. Looking after the children. Hmm. So you could see. All we do here is to sell 18 billion oil. I'm talking about sharing formula. Hmm. Sharing formula. Sharing formula. Hmm. Nobody talks about production formula. Hmm. Hmm. You are talking about how to reduce poverty. Hmm. It's the same thing. You have not invested in your engine of growth. The engine of growth of a nation, I can combine all this into one question, is your micro, small, medium businesses. And I'm going to use three different countries to tell you how. Indonesia. I was there for what? It, it go to Indonesia today, 98% of the companies in Indonesia are small businesses. They employ 90% of Indonesian labor. Indonesia is a country of about 250 million. In a 250 million country, where about 60% is supposed to be employed, so they have employment of 150 million out of which small businesses is employing about 130, 140 million. Hmm. They're not doing that here. Because they're not supposed they even have ministry of small businesses hmm. and they have a, 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 a what you can call a percentage. All financial institutions must lend to small businesses. Yeah. So they must lend Financial institution must... Uh, There's institutions. a percentage of where they are lending. Mm. So if you have one naira to lend, 25% must go to small business. And I can show you, same thing is what is applicable in Bangladesh. And other countries. Today, the most, in terms of economic growth, is China. In China, with all the exports, production, China's GDP contribution is from small businesses. Small businesses in China employs 60% of the labor. Today, China with 1.4 billion persons, 800 million is employed. 540 is employed by small businesses. In fact, in, in townships, in urban areas, small businesses employ 80% of the labor. That is what is happening in China. Here we talk about we have no revenue. You don't have revenue because you have poor people. Poor people cannot pay you revenue because they have no money. They are mm. not doing anything. Mm. So the more you put people out of poverty, the more revenue you, you generate. Mm. For example, China budget, annual budget is four trillion. Three point two trillion comes from tax. Fifty percent of that is the contribution from small businesses. So you have no small business here to employ anybody. If you go to bank lending, I come from that background, financial background. If you go to bank lending today, out of our three trillion lending, that's about thirty trillion is what is 
is now you can call bank lenders in Nigeria. Less than 5% go to small business. Small businesses are harassed by government. Small businesses are overtaxed. No support from government. I started my business as a small business. While I lived in England, government was supporting me. They were even visiting my office. As a Nigerian as in a England? Nigerian, yes, in England. Did very well. I was doing very well. I can show you. My banks are giving me money from giving me support of 10,000 pounds. Honorary President, when mm. I live here, mm. I will show you now, because I'm sure it's in my bag. Mm. By the time I leave England, my bank was giving me $7 million. And then black man and the Nigeria living in England. <laughs> this country cannot give me that. Because you know why? Mm -mm. In England, they don't have all these things they ask you here. Where is your mother's house? Where is your father's house? Your education is assumed to be your collateral. It's a collateral intelligence because it's a knowledge economy. Hmm. If, if Bill Gates, if Bill Gates and Steve Jobs were here, nobody would give them a job. How could Bill Gates or Steve Jobs go from a, something that is on underground, hmm. being in a garage, and go and say, give me money? Hmm. Nobody. But because there, there's intellectual capital, is used as a guarantee. That's why they are doing what they are doing. People can lend them, or people can invest in them. Here, yeah, the bank wouldn't even allow them to come in. So these are things we need to change. In China, most of the big export businesses are done by small businesses, mm. because, and they are supported by government. When last the government support anybody here? Nothing. Even you only the, see it in even TV. The Smedan. You know, no, no, it's, 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 it's just it's on TV. Not yeah, TV. TV and radio. Okay. No, no, okay. no, no, no. no but, but not our radio, not I'm, our I'm TV in, and radio. I'm a, so I'm in, I live in London. Mm. I'm a small tra I'm a trader. Mm. So I meet these people every day. And I can tell you, you can change here and make Nigeria not an import nation, an export nation. That's why countries survive. I was in Morocco just three weeks ago. I told Morocco, Morocco is exporting 40 something billion worth of exports, dollars, without oil. The only thing we do here is share 18 billion oil money. We must change this country to production. Thank you. It's not a difficult thing. <laughs> can we have hope? Somebody said, can we have hope? Yes. The job of government is to give people hope. And you have to be in it. So the man who is going to govern, that's why what you people are doing here. Please, don't listen to our talk. Investigate. Mm. Verify. Mm. Talk is cheap. We have too many people who can talk here. You know, talk anyhow and say anything you like. Sweet things. But let us verify. When they go there. So let us know the last place you pass. How did you do it? Mm. I told somebody a story. And as I said, I was chairman of SEC. Go there. The day I came in as chairman, that they showed me, they said, you have this car, you have this, you have this, you have this, and we're going to pay this as an allowance. I said, I don't want anything from you. As I go there, I ask them whether they give me tire. Security and exchange. Throughout your, tru Sec go there now. Security and exchange commission in Abuja. I said, go and ask them whether they gave me one hour for sitting allowance. Then I told them, I said, Let's fix this place. God gave me enough. So don't come here and confuse anybody. Somebody said to me, oh, next week, oh, what about your house in Abuja? I said, no, get house in Abuja. I don't live in Abuja. I live on it. My house is there, there. If I come here in a hotel, I'll pay. Sleep. I'm not too worried, but I'm okay. I'm very, very comfortable. I have enough to pay my bill. But we must raise our greed so the country can work. Mm, thank you very much. Thank you. Finally, your last few words. You, you don't answer all the questions, Abby. So, My last few words. Yes, sir. Maybe the word pension. Mm. Somebody talked about paying wife pension. Mm. You can. And doctor who said he's out of Nigeria, had to come back. Mm -hmm. Doctor, what we are going to do is to invest in producing more doctors, some for even for export, oh. so we can get the rest of this country does not take advantage. Mm. It's not been proved that 
in 2030, the world will lack people in computer engineering areas. In 2030. That the world will be shortage of over 10 million nurses and midwives. In 2030. In 2030. So in Ghana, they have the best school of technology. They are producing the product for tomorrow. Hmm. Today, we get less than 20 billion in diaspora remittance. It used to be 25. But as things get worse, those who are remitting money are no longer even remitting. And we have only for 5 million people. Philippines gets over 50 billion for diaspora remittances. Egypt is now getting almost 30. Bangladesh is 30 something. And we are getting just 18 for more oil. So we are trying to educate our people and export them. If you go to Dubai, go to every UK, go to everywhere, all the drivers and killers are Egyptians, Filipinos, Afghanistan, everybody is exporting people. So we need to train more doctors here. The ones that will stay, the ones who will export, export for diaspora remittance, that's why we have foreign exchange. So for me, it's a win-win, but we need to invest in education, education, education. For the pension for the wives, as the economy is going, we will do all that. My last one. Please, we have no other country. We must stop the abuse of this country. The country we are abusing today will take its revenge on our children and our grandchildren. Everybody collectively must stop this. This country can be better. All it requires is people have sincere purpose to lead it and serve it faithfully. Thank you. you can fight corruption. You can do anything. It's a very easy thing. Once you, the principal person, is not stealing. Your family is not stealing. Your friends are not stealing. You reduce it by 50%. Let people go to Anand Brothers and show me the monies that are missing. And to conclude it, under president, no thief can leave what you can steal. It's never happened anywhere in the world. Cumulatively, what I showed you here, I left. The dollars I showed I left. When I left office, dollar was 150 naira. If you convert it with naira I left, I left 75 billion naira. And it's documented. And anybody can see it. There are monies that can convert and take away. Mm. But it doesn't belong to me. It's public money. It must be used for public good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.